So now in this video, we have an NPN bipolar junction transistor wired as a switch with a pull down resistor. So we'll get to what that means. So if you're not aware or just for a review, we have the NPN bipolar junction transistor there. That's the symbol. That's emitter, base, and collector when it comes to the symbol. With the 2N2222, uh, which I'm using here, any other NPN bipolar junction transistor should work fine, but it may have a different pin layout, so you may have to wire it differently. Uh, but in any case, we got emitter down there, base in the middle, and collector at top, because the flat side is to the right. So it's a switch. If I'm not pressing this button, the LED is off. If I am pressing this button, the LED is on. The uh, resistor there, the pull down resistor, let's get to that right away as well. Um, so you can see I can touch the metal there. The LED stays off, which it should. But without uh, this resistor, the resistor otherwise doesn't uh, really affect the circuit. But now you can see my body can actually provide a stray signal right there. So that's kind of the point of the NPN bipolar junction transistor switch. I'm using a mechanical switch here for demonstration purposes. Of course, we could just uh, put the switch right there or up there or whatever. Instead of the transistor, I could close the switch and that will turn it on and off. That's one of the most basic uh, circuits. The main takeaway is we have a pretty high value resistor right here, 10,000 ohm resistor. That's also 10,000 ohms. And uh, when I close the switch, that allows a little trickle of current through base to emitter. That's the important part. When there's a little bit of a very small amount of base to emitter current, it's going to allow many times the current to flow through a collector to emitter. Maybe 100 times, maybe 200, maybe 300. Um, depends on what transistor you got. And uh, so, but for most of the common transistors, you're probably gonna get more than 100 gain. So for every, you know, one milliamp of current based to emitter, you can expect at least 100 milliamps of current uh, to flow through the transistor to let it, that it will let flow, I should say, if one milliamp's going through it. That's if it's 100 gain. Usually it's probably like 200, maybe even 300. So now, with the uh, pull down resistor, there you can see, um, actually, I am getting a slight glow right there. Probably I put the resistor in the wrong spot. That's a problem. There we go. Now it's gone. So, uh, with the uh, resistor there, when I touch this point while the switch is open, we have a connection to ground. Uh, my body can provide a little bit of current, but it would rather go to ground that way than go to ground that way right there. Um, so, it's helping pull down the voltage right there, which helps keep the transistor off if uh, we remove the uh, resistor. Now I touch it, so um, I'm just gonna cover the resistor right there, it's gone. Now, um, my body, you know, kinda wants to push and pull uh, current a little bit, very small. So we're getting a small trickle, base to emitter right there, it can go in that direction. This is a diode, so it can go one way but not the other. Now it has a path to ground. Again, it's very, very little current, and uh, so um, probably, like uh, less than 1% of the current my body is putting through there versus what is lighting up the LED right there, which isn't very much. So a very, very small trickle. But again, it's enough to uh, do uh, something. And so if that's a problem, you gotta get rid of it. And uh, so pull down resistor helps keep the voltage uh, low when it comes to signals right there. But uh, when I close the switch now, we have a direct connection to the positive supply right there. Um, so these are parallel to each other, but uh, that doesn't uh, influence anything other than we waste a little bit of current through that the resistor when the switch is closed, you know, very little. Um, but we're using a little bit more than twice as much current to turn this transistor on um, than we would when it comes to the switch. The, since that's a direct connection to the positive supply, current's going to go through that uh, 10K resistor and through that 10k resistor as if the other one doesn't exist. They'll let the same amount of current through. So when it comes to the switch working, the pull down resistor is not going to harm how well the transistor turns on. It's going to do exactly the same as long as the power supply can provide all the current that it needs. So I set the power supply to a 20 milliamp current limit and now we only got about 15 milliamps of current total going through this entire circuit right there. So the uh, bipolar junction transistor will work without the pull down uh, resistor in this case. There's also pull up resistors for uh, other uh, circuitry. Um, but uh, again, it uh, just prevents stray signals for this one. So may not need it at all. You might actually need it for a circuit where the 
bipolar junction transistor has to stay off. Other types of transistors, MOSFETs, they definitely need either a pull up or pull down resistor to work effectively because the charge stays on their control pin, which is called a gate. It's uh, kind of like the base here, but a charge can actually build up and stay on there and that transistor won't turn off unless you have a resistor that uh, turns it off. Or you could wire it where the resistor helps keep it on instead of uh, turning off. Um, but we're not going to worry about that in this video. Just uh, you'll see these pull up or pull down resistors from time to time. They're not really doing something other than preventing a you know charge that you don't want at a pin at any given time. And uh, so they're very useful. They are doing something, but not something that you can really see or detect. You know. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help a lot. I'll see you in the next video.